Hey guys, welcome to Big John Malia's World. Today, I am making one of our family's most favorite meals. It's one of your favorites, mm -hmm. isn't it, honey? It's everybody's favorite. Mississippi Mud Roast. Oh yeah. Welcome to Big Joe and Malia's World. Where we keep it hillbilly fabulous. Yee yee. Okay y'all, Mississippi Mud Roast. Like I said, this is one of our family's favorites. I cook this a lot when we have people over for dinner or if we have house guests and stuff like that. So it has become some of our friends' favorite meal as well. It's very simple. You use a crock pot and it's really, all you have to do is just wait on to cook. So it's really not that hard. It does take a few ingredients. So here's what you gotta have. First thing you have to have, a roast. Now I use chuck roast, okay, because it's got some fat marbling in there and when you cook it slow that fat renders down and it makes it real good and juicy. So chuck roast is what I use. All right, you have to have a whole stick of butter. Now, you know, I typically say unsalted butter. It really doesn't matter for this recipe what you use. Um, you could even use margarine, I suppose, but I have, always have unsalted butter on hand, so that's what I've got. You have to have a pack of au jus gravy mix. You have to have a pack of ranch dressing mix. You have to have pepperoncinis. Joe loves these things. Do you mm -hmm. not know? And you've got to have salt, pepper, and some flour. You also have to have a frying pan and you have to have a pretty good size crock pot. So, here's the first thing you have to do. Clean hands. You take your roast, and you're just gonna take some of this flour. Now, I'm just using my cutting board, so I'm gonna have a big old mess to clean up. And you just kind of put some flour on it. Just like this. Just kind of rub it on there. On the sides and on both sides. All right. Doesn't have to be fancy. Doesn't have to be anything like that. Okay. Then you're gonna do the same thing with your salt. I just pour it in my hands and just put a little bit on each side. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and do the pepper. Salt and pepper, both sides. Just kinda wanna rub it in there. really can't get too much pepper with this recipe. All right. Now that we've got it good and coated with flour and salt and pepper, I'm gonna roll it around the edges just a little bit in this flour mixture just to kind of get it good and coated. All right, next step, we gotta cook it just a minute. All right, so the first step in the cooking process of this meat is you just want to pan sear it for about five minutes on each side until you get a golden brown crust. And I'll be back to show you what that looks like. Okay, once you get your roast seared on both sides for five minutes, here's what it looks like. There is what it looks like. Good and brown on both sides, got a good crust. Looks looks good already, really. Oh, it does. Okay, so you want to go ahead and transfer that to your crock pot, and it might be a good idea if you go ahead and spray your crock pot with a little bit of cooking spray before you put your meat in there. Also, another tip that I did forget earlier, it's probably best if you take your roast out of the refrigerator for a couple of hours, maybe even a little bit longer. You want to get it pretty close to room temperature before you cook it. All right, so what we're gonna do now, this is the easy part. We're gonna take our ranch dressing mix, okay? Just the powdered kind. You cannot substitute ranch dressing for this, okay? You gotta pour it over the top, the whole pack, okay? You're also gonna take the au jus powder, the au jus mix, okay? And then again, don't substitute gravy or au jus that's already concentrated or anything like that. You want to put just the powder right on the top. 
Okay. Then, what we're going to do, I'm going to put just a little bit of water on here. Just a little bit of water around the edges. Don't put it on the meat, but you're going to put just about, oh, about a half an inch of water on there. Okay? Then you're going to take pepperoncinis. Ooh, I can smell these already. You're going to take your pepperoncinis and you're just going to lay them on the top. You can put as many of these as you want to on here. Joe loves them. They're the best part. <laughs> Especially when they get, when they're cooked. Oh, after they're cooked in that ranch and that yes. au jus. Man, are they so good. So I'm going to put several on here just because Joe likes them. I think the recipe really calls for six. But I will put the whole recipe up in the, in the uh, description so you guys can see exactly what to do here. Okay. Pepperoncinied out. Now, see, I think there's room for one more. I think there's room for one more on there. There we go. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of the juice, and I'm just going to pour it down into that water, okay? Gives it just a little extra flavor. And the very last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take this stick of butter, and I'm going to put it right on the top, just like that. Now that's all there is to do. There's all, that's all there is to do as far as the seasoning goes. You want to put your crock pot on a low heat, low setting, with the lid for about six hours. Now you can cook this on high for about four hours, but your meat may not end up as tender. But so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start it out on low for a few hours, and then I'm going to probably increase the heat as the day goes by as it gets closer to supper time. Also, um, this will smell your house up. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> Every time you leave the house or come back in or you leave the room and come back in, the smell will, it will starve you to death, one it honey. Will, it, will it will starve your, you to death. It will make your tongue beat your brains out. <laughs> I'm going to come back here in just a couple hours and I'm going to show you what it looks like at certain points of the cooking time. Also, at about the, about the two hour mark, or the three hour mark, you do want to turn the roast over. But I will be back to show you a few more steps. The roast has been cooking for one hour. So let's just peep in the side here and we'll see what it looks like. Look at that, the butter's already melted. The juices are bubbling a little bit around the edges. The smell, oh my gosh, is this not the best smell? Oh. This is it already smells delicious. One hour. Okay, we are halfway through the cooking process, so I'm going to take the lid off of the crock pot and look at this. Look at that. So I'm just going to knock all these peppers off here. And I'm just going to stick a fork in one end, and it's already so tender. Look at that. It's falling apart. So let me try this in, see if that'll help. And I'm just going to turn it over and let the top part cook in the juices and also those peppers will start to cook in those juices as well. But it is looking so good and it smells delicious. Okay, hours and hours and hours later, here is the finished roast. Look how good that looks. Oh, it smells even better. It does, doesn't it? So what you need to do when your time is up, you need to turn the power off on your slow cooker, and you need to let it rest for about 20 minutes before you slice it. But honey, you ready to do the taste test? Oh, I am so ready. Me too. Let's so do it. So ready. <laughs> okay. Show them how tender it is. Guys, look at this. Fork tender, literally. Just pulls. Just pulls apart. Look at that. Mm. Well, let's just try a bite. I'm excited. Oh, man. 
<laughs> this roast is hard to beat, is it not? There is never a disappointment with this roast. No. If I've ever give anything the mm -mm 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 -mm. it is this. That is this. <laughs> this deserves mm -mm 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 -mm. times ten. Times a hundred. <laughs> You'll never have a better roast, guys. It's good. And everybody we know that has eaten this Everybody roast, that I've made this for has absolutely fallen in love with it. They adore it. Mm -hmm. They think it's the best thing there is. So Super easy. Mm -hmm. It is. The only thing is it does take quite a bit of time, but it is certainly worth the six hours that it took to cook this. The longer you mm -hmm. cook it, the more... Um, tender it's going to be. It was really done about the four hour mark, but I cooked it another two hours just to make sure that it was good and tender. You guys, I can't express enough <laughs> how you need to go to the grocery store right now. Buy a rose. <laughs> make this. Au jus. Pepperoncinis. Pepperoncinis. And make this now. <laughs> mm. You need this in your life. You do. Well, guys, that's it for the Mississippi Mud Roast. Big Joe's, one of his favorite meals. One of mine, too. It's super easy to make. It just takes a lot of time if you, you know, you have to use a crock pot. And it takes about six hours to cook. But it's totally worth oh, the wait. Put totally. it in. Put it in the morning. And you're good to go, aren't you? Oh, you will not regret it. you got to trust me here. If you try this recipe, and you should, please let us know in the comments. Because we really do like to know how you like all the recipes. And as always, we want to thank you for a little bit of the Genius World. In your world. We'll see you soon, guys. Yes. Seems like they just don't get our ways. They try to control.